from all over the country, from all different backgrounds, came together at Rockefeller Center this afternoon to talk about how to improve the quality of education that we as a nation provide for our kids. Taking the stage to join in the conversation, Matt Presser, who teaches 7th and 8th graders in New Haven. I realized that I wanted to be a teacher when I reflected back on the great teachers who I've had and when I saw the great work being done in our classrooms. Presser was one of three winners in the Education Nation Essay Contest. Brian Williams read part of his winning essay. They're growing up in one of America's toughest cities where murders are so common they sometimes don't make the front page of the newspaper. Despite this, they come to school. They dream. As the conversation went back and forth from the stage to the audience, part of the discussion inevitably turned to the fiscal realities of providing quality public education and how to pay for it. I think it's a shame that we have to rely on philanthropy to support our schools and make up for an educational debt that has accrued for generations. I think certain communities, especially in urban areas, have been neglected by education for so many years, and we have so much to make up for. Connecticut's Teacher of the Year, Kristen Recker, told the crowd that teacher salaries may be a factor, but it doesn't necessarily determine quality. Starting off the conversation with salaries is important to get people to consider teaching as a profession to go into. But once we're they that an increased salary would make me a better teacher is not true. I'm a better teacher for my students, I'm a better teacher for my community, and what I want is a seat at the table to discuss issues that affect me and my students. Too often school reform is something that's happening to our students as opposed to with them or for them. And I think that so many decisions are being made by people in boardrooms, people in the White House, when the real people who know what our students need are the people here today, the people in the classroom every day, who know our